So, for the last couple weeks, I have been down in Florida doing something pretty cool and pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I haven't done a sit-down video like this in a little bit. Uh, if you guys have watched me at all over the years, you know that every now and then I like to throw one of these in. Uh, YouTube doesn't really like them that much, but I like doing them so they can kiss my ass. Long story short, uh, I contacted my guy Breezy, aka Tyler Breeze, you already know. Him and Sean Spears own a wrestling training school down in Florida called Flatbacks. And I was just kind of like, hey, so what if we went through like a full training course and filmed the whole thing for like a documentary and trained me one on one until I'm ready to go for the most part. And he said, bet, let's do it. And that was it. So I'm recording this to just kind of update y'all on, on some of the progress we made what the process is like and all that and eat a hello fresh meal in a bit because they are helping me stay on track with my diet if you want to call it that so first things first uh this is the hardest thing i've ever done in my entire life i don't know if any of you guys watching this remember a few years back when i had that one surprise wrestling training session yeah this is not that at all this isn't like a hey show me some stuff uh, let's roll around and ha 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 okay cool see you later like mm -mm, mm -mm. it is a full-blown multi-week situation and i gotta say breeze is legitimately a fantastic teacher honestly i haven't really worked too much with spears yet he's kind of been in and out during some of my sessions sometimes but from day one it is drilled into your mind the importance of of technique and fundamentals he brought in a few of his students to kind of help me get some experience like with different people and different styles and stuff and honestly everybody has been just super cool and incredibly helpful and by the end of every single session i am completely spent a hundred percent drained i have nothing left in the tank i told him i didn't want to half-ass this shit. you know if we're gonna do it we're gonna do it for real and i'm gonna give him everything i got and that's what I'm doing. So when I'm not there, obviously it's important that I'm uh, resting and fueling my body properly, etc. And like I said earlier, HelloFresh has been helping with that in a big way. They are legit the number one meal kit company for a reason. I very frequently get packages from HelloFresh at my own house, but when I told them kind of what was going on and, and everything, they sent stuff right down to my uh, my temporary abode here in Florida. The thing that separates HelloFresh from like some of the other companies I've tried is how easy the recipes are and how easily I can fit it into my schedule because I am not a chef by any stretch of the imagination. They portion everything out so nothing gets wasted or anything. The ingredients themselves are always super fresh and high quality. Like I said, they literally make it as simple and straightforward as possible. Their recipes vary from week to week too, so you're not getting the same stuff over and over and over and over. They got vegetarian meals, calorie smart meals, bulking meals that have tons of protein. Pretty much whatever your diet is, HelloFresh can help keep you on track. So as a gift to you guys watching this, uh, if you click my link down in the description below and use promo code DANKOPS, you will get 65% off your order from HelloFresh if you live in the US. If you're outside the US, the discount varies depending on where you're located but you still get to save some cash either way which is huge hellofresh has been a sponsor of ours for a while now and it's because they're great at what they do and they're great to work with so again click that link below use code dankops and get yourself some meals you will not regret it so back to me getting my ass kicked uh for anybody out there thinking about doing wrestling training or like considering maybe starting or hopping into classes or whatever my main piece of advice would just be make sure you're getting in there with someone who knows what they're doing. Like I said, Breeze, Spears, Flatbacks, they are locked into technique, fundamentals, getting the important stuff right. But I have heard many, many stories, unfortunately, about trainers just just taking people's money and being, okay, I'll do that and do a flip and, oh, you hurt? Oh, that sucks. All right, see you later. Like, just don't do that. But I have uh, full and complete trust in what what is asked of me when I'm at these sessions. At this point, we're probably a little more than halfway through. Uh, and I've been told that I'm coming along very well and picking things up quickly, which is obviously great to hear, but I'm probably much harder on myself than anybody else during these sessions. So if I don't like nail something on my first try, I'm like, oh, well, I'm just, I'm just trash and garbage. So I should just, you should just kill me. <laughs> but even with the pain, the bumps, the bruises, uh, lots and lots and lots of bruises. It is 
one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in my life, honestly. It's the most challenging thing I've ever done. Like I said, it pushes me to my literal limit. As hard as I try to go, you know, in the gym with my workouts or whatever, nothing is going to make you more aware of your limits than this shit. Until you're in the ring itself, falling down, getting up, falling down, getting up, falling down, getting up, falling down, getting up. Like there's, there's nothing like it, man. And the end goal for all this, honestly, is more so just like be ready so you don't got to get ready type of thing. This last year or so, I've been having, you know, the time of my life being a manager in DPW. It's so much fun. Uh, but I do partly blame that whole thing for this too, because being that close to everything, being involved like that, being around the wrestling environment and passionate people like that all the time, it kind of like re uh, reawoke reawoken reawoke reawoken <laughs> it kind of re-sparked uh like that dormant thought of hmm wonder if i'd be any good at this you know what i mean but at the end of the day to be a hundred percent transparent i have no idea what's going to come from this maybe when it's all done and you know training is finished and whatever i'll just walk out and be like you know what i think i'm gonna just stick to managing because i do genuinely love doing that and it's not something i plan on uh, given up anytime soon or maybe not maybe a story or situation comes along that just makes sense to bring it all out only time will tell as they say um one thing i do know though is this documentary is gonna be crazy i'm still not sure exactly how we're gonna release it if it's gonna be like a multi-episode thing or maybe just one long video i'm not entirely sure yet uh it is gonna be released completely free though on YouTube so everybody can see it right away as soon as it's ready. Harry Aaron, who is an incredibly talented videographer and photographer, is crushing this thing so far. Just the little clips that he's shown me and the teasers he put together, I just, I can't wait. I'm so excited for it. And I'm even more excited for y'all to see the, uh, the finished product. So that is pretty much where my life is at right now. Obviously still trying to bring you guys content when I can. Uh, it's it's very difficult though, because when I'm not training, I'm either just barely hobbling around or just uh, trying to rest or something. So it's, you know, my time is not as open as it typically is, but none of this would be possible. And I, I genuinely truly mean this without you guys. The people who have supported this channel over the last eight years of me doing wrestling content. I know a lot have come and gone, uh, you know, meeting people who watched my stuff as kids and then I meet them in person when they're an adult and they say like, oh, I used to, you know, I watch your stuff all the time. And this is at, you know, wrestling wrestling shows and, and training sessions and stuff, stuff that's actually involved in the world of wrestling. And it's so, so crazy to see. It legit blows my mind every single time. But uh, no matter what I may say otherwise, when I have a microphone in my hand, Chris Danger does not exist without y'all, period. So I uh, hope you'll stick around for the adventures that we still have to come. Thank you guys so much for the support. It means more to me than you will ever know. A lot of great stuff coming your way. I can't wait for you to see it. Um, that's that. Love you guys. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. And stay tuned. I'll see you soon. I don't know whose idea this was. I'm gonna beat their ass. We're gonna juice him up with this cardio. Yeah. Yeah. I go right here, I get nice and comfortable, kick my feet up. You gotta be humble, man. Don't get an ego. Wrestling is bigger than all of us. In the end, you're not special, I'm not special. If I set my mind to something, I will literally push myself to the edge of my limits to get where I want to be. Well, the worst part about all this is, is I'm really enjoying this. <laughs>